Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to be playing uh, Ragnarok 5 with Thara. I know a lot of people seem to be struggling with other characters besides for the summoner. So here we are, well Amaranth if you need other words. Here we are, we are focusing on crit, movement speed and then we got projectile, limit break, damaged bosses, ultimate cooldown. Five levels in absolutely everything in combat that I think is necessary. And then we've got ourselves XP, uh, XP attraction and a nice start. And we do have the overhealing as well. So let's get straight into it. Again, we are going to be playing on Thara. We're going to start with Uncanny Bow onto Ragnarok for uh, Svart Alfheim. So let's just see what's happening. It doesn't look like the leaderboards are loading. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to have got a benchmark. Now, the first thing you're going to be doing is looking over here. We do not want gigantism. As you can see, it increases their size, increases their health, and makes them immune to knockback. So we do reroll until we get something a bit better. Armor, also really terrible. Uh, although it did get nerfed recently, we do not like it. Ultra speed, also terrible. And we are much happier over here. Strength, yes, is going to hurt us a little bit. They are going to be doing a lot more damage to us. But, you know, as long as we can out DPS them, or as long as we can do enough damage to kill them comfortably, we aren't too worried about the, the you know, them doing more damage. The point of this is to just not get hit. So it doesn't matter how much damage they do, as long as they can't hit you, you'll be in a good spot. Now, Poison Relics are the ones to go for on Thara. Also, getting some decent luck and having a double Ascension Crystal over here would have been really good. What you can do to ensure your victory is to re-roll to ensure that you get the double uh, Ascension Crystal or triple Ascension Crystal. Are we lucky to get the XP Fossil over here nice and early. Thara doesn't have any XP in her tree, uh, so you know getting the XP fossil is actually really really good on her. Going to help us with some good early levels that we wouldn't have otherwise got without it. So that is fantastic. Just getting a few uh, skill points just to make sure that we've got enough uh, again for levels as well as you know damage because that's just key. We do need to re-roll, we do want as much damage as possible and we got ourselves damage and projectiles. Getting damage and crit would be the best outcome without re-rolling but we did we did have to re-roll and I mean even if you had to re-roll uh, just once just to get the damage if it was damage and crit together that would be the best outcome. Unfortunately for me we got damage and projectiles not too bad of a, a start, but again, crit would have been a lot better. Now, we did get hit, unfortunately, once or twice over there, but it's not too bad. Our life is still in a decent spot. Uh, some relics we're looking for. Again, we're probably looking for all the poison ones. So, poison cloud, the infectious or infected bracelet, whatever it's called. Uh, those ones are going to be very good. We don't really need this. It is a free relic though, so we will take it even if we do land up going, uh, you know, getting rid of it. But if we do land up getting the poison to fire, that would be handy. So just keep that in mind as well. And also because we are going for the 15% chance for poison to be dealt on enemies per attack, we are looking to grab as much poison and anything that converts to poison as much as possible. So grabbing fire is pretty good. Even a thunder or electric relic or two is going to be relatively good here as well. Now, unfortunately, Revna is the next step over here, but we're not going to be using Revna. So we are going to just completely go past, past it, go straight down to grab the poison, grab ourselves the mastery, and we then going to focus on our poison bomb. After that, we are going to move to Endless Bow, which also got a buff recently. So that's going to be really, really good. And for our poison bomb, we are going to be looking at getting a double. Oh, I don't know if we're going to go double ascension on the bow or double ascension on poison bomb. We'll see how we feel. 
or how much damage we're actually doing in the second phase or second or th third wave of the the round but uh, we'll see how things go poison bomb was really really good compared to the bow's second ascension so we could possibly double ascend bow but we'll see how that goes and how everything is going for us there so duration or cooldown i think we are going to actually re-roll this damage and a projectile itself is going to be fantastic and then let's go see what our shrine at the top over here has for us we are going to get hurt while going to it that is okay not the end of the world to lose one blue heart uh, will be easy enough to get back with potions so not too worried about that as long as it's something good it's not really we can't really use electric uh, cage uh, mm. yeah I'll, that's very dependent we we can leave it for now it will stay there until the end we'll just see what we get in the shop if we do get the poison to lightning damage then we can think about going for the electric cage but otherwise we're gonna just stick to getting xp now so we're gonna run around and collect xp and we will see you all at the boss Okay, we are back. We're about to fight the first of Mama Flagamus. As you can see, she just spawned. But as you can see, we have 27 skill points. So what I'm actually going to do is get our ultimate up and running. And you'll see exactly why. Because this deals a load of damage. And it's also been changed uh, recently. Again, they did buff it. So let's just show you exactly what it's like. We are going to push our R. And as you can see, it starts to follow enemies uh, back and forth now. So you can see we utterly destroy Mama Flagamus. You do... So... And the thing, a hint with the actual uh, boss itself is to stay as far away from it as possible. And the reason for that is because, one, uh, you want to just uh, stay alive. Two, there seems to be an issue with the hitbox that the boss has when you are too close to it. So you do want to just try and stay as far away from it as possible to get the most out of everything. Now we were lucky enough to pick up an XP orb over there or an XP ring, uh, the attractor ring. So we do get quite a decent amount of experience. Now we don't have a lot of uh, money to buy a lot so for this i believe it will be beneficial to either go ace that's going to help us a lot but we're not going to be able to double ascend it so we're actually going to go for some movement speed over here and then one reroll. hopefully we don't get anything uh too like amazing that we wished we had enough money for so we're going to go for a little bit more laugh and some attack speed with a little bit of damage that's going to be perfect and then i think we can ascend our poison bomb we do just need to get it to the right level and we should be okay there area projectiles and damage that's perfect and we're gonna start with cluster bomb and go from there so now we're gonna work on damage uh, duration as well as cooldown and area of effect those all are going to affect our ultimate as well as all of our skills so that's going to put us in a really good place and having our poison bomb uh, just multiply all of our damage or its damage because it's got more than one you know uh, bomb uh, the poison bomb is now a poison cluster bomb that is going to you know help us with a lot more damage and poison's actually very very good especially when it comes to bosses so here we are lucky enough to grab ourselves a lucky mushroom oh, get it get it lucky lucky mushroom no okay it's fine doesn't really matter anyway we've got to sit here for 25 seconds and every elite fight now we will use our ultimate as you could see the ultimate now does follow enemies around so it is a beautiful ultimate to get when you are playing with Thara. Doesn't matter on what level or difficulty. It is a really, really good damaging ultimate now. You saw for yourself, it does deal a lot of damage, especially to the bosses now, because you don't have to worry about it actually hitting them. You can guarantee that it is going to hit the bosses now, which is fantastic. And we actually got a refresh on the shrine over here 
We landed up getting ourselves Astrid Shield. That is probably, if not one of the best things we could ask for. And that is because it is a defensive uh, relic, which gives us an extra hit for free. So really, really happy to get it. Let's just grab that XP quickly and make sure that we are killing everything around us because we want, uh, you know, to survive. But there's a lot of XP sitting around us because we don't have an attraction or anything like that. We can spam ulti again, give us a nice path to walk on without worrying about a lot of enemies. And that's going to help us collect more XP. Again, just grabbing as much XP as possible. And we can go and see what other shrines we've got for us. Uh, just move over to them. Alright, so after fighting our way through, we see that we've got a greed over here. Is it worth it? Yes, of course it is. It does make it a little bit trickier because now we want to try and get as many points as possible. But we should be okay. As you can see, our clear is really dismal. Um, Thara does have a little bit of a struggle when it comes to clearing out mobs. Even though we have so much AoE on her with both our poison bomb as well as our arrows falling from the scar. So it is a very unfortunate circumstance that uh, we struggle so much when it comes to the damage that the output that we have on her. But we do actually get ourselves another attraction ring. This is uh, beyond good luck for us. Uh, we have picked up what's this, like our third or fourth one this run. And that is just insanely lucky on our part. So let's keep going. There is another shrine at the top over here that we haven't got yet. So let's go grab that. And ooh, we got ourselves 50 gold for free, just like that. That is a huge, huge bonus to us with Thara. Again, we don't now have to worry about uh, running around collecting the XP orbs because we do have the XP from our uh, ring that we're going to be getting. So kill all of them. It looks like that's it. We got ourselves a huge amount of damage there, 50% increased damage. That is going to be a huge help on the next boss as well as on the final boss as long as we can keep all of that gold. Uh, we won't really spend it unless we see something really amazing in the uh, shop. Uh, something amazing would be something like uh, the heal. Uh, not the heal. Uh, something that gives us another shield or something to that kind of effect where it's going to just be of benefit to us to lose a little bit of damage to get. So there, there are things you can get, but otherwise we are going to just stick to keeping our money. Um, the other thing is there's still one more wave before the final boss, so we could just keep our money, I mean use our money in hopes of replacing it a little bit further down the line. But here we go, we are moving down to the health shrine, although it looks like it's been used, it does reset, uh, as you can see, and uh, we are going to use our ultimate again. It does come up pretty often, as you can see it did save us from getting hit over there, we didn't even see those guys until it was too late, so luckily we did have it up so that we could do the damage over there, and as you can see, our shield over there saving our life as well and grab some money for us over there so 15 16 skill points let's go into our uh, dps over here and we can go for a little bit more poison damage as well over here so that's going to help uh, deal more area damage because we're going to have the poison up and running and we do have a really nice cooldown on our ultimate so we did not have to worry about it not being up in time for our Warlock Oglu. So spam the ultimate, let it land on the boss please, thank goodness. All of them are on it, so as you can see we are dealing huge amounts of damage. That's fantastic, we do want to make sure we are not in the way of that. This can hurt a lot, so just make sure you do stay away from it as much as possible. 
and we are going to be hoping for time for another ultimate just to clear the boss as quickly as possible and we did manage to get it please go to the boss this is gonna hurt me uh, okay well at least we had a little bit of defense over there and push our attraction ring to get all that XP so a couple of things we've got ourselves the poison to electricity that's going to help us because remember we did have the uh poison to i mean the lightning cage which will give us electric orbs so that's going to be very very useful over there and we can spend one refresh hopefully we get something good from half grim uh do we have a lot of cooldown uh only 85 percent so what is that that's 21 percent increased damage for 25 gold that's not really worth it and i don't think we need anything else from the shop over here maybe grab ourselves a frozen i mean a green heart and then we can move on from there but as you can see we just got a whack ton of levels so we're gonna level up all of these and we might even land up leveling up our uh revna or even our our daggers just for extra damage but now i need to just check over here which is doing more damage this is it's sitting on 2200 dps this is 2800 so we're going to go for the deadly poison uh, it's just going to make sense to go for the weapon which has more dps uh, just because it makes a lot more sense to do something like that we've got some knockback i don't know how but we were knocking him back and now we can actually go and hurt ourselves on the the shrine. I'm going to show you a way because we have the shield over here. Oh, that is not the shrine I'm looking for though. But we are okay to, to actually we don't need fire to us. We don't do either. So I'm not going to bother wasting my time over there. We are looking over here for the electric cage. So what we do is we take the shield damage and then we spam our ulti. And that allows us, well we don't spam it, we just click it. And that allows us to walk through uh, the, the uh, sparks without taking any damage so very very good we don't need any more experience again uh, we're already sitting on another 19 levels so we don't really have to worry too much about that it does look like we have plenty of experience points so we're not too worried about getting ourselves more uh, what we do need to worry about is what all these relics are and also on surviving so that's going to be very important we'll take a holy sword why not and let's just look we've got 21 levels i think we're going to grab some daggers uh, they can be quite useful we're not even going to worry about what they do but uh, you know if we get the damage like we are here that's just super lucky uh, maybe the last one can be damage and projectiles that's fine as well now that's just going to provide us with that little bit of extra DPS that we wouldn't have otherwise had. So we are quite happy for it to be there. Alright, very nice damage going out. As you can see, we just like instantly filled up that bar. 350 kills done and dusted just like that. What a beautiful change the, the devs made to those shrines. Really, 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 really happy about that so we already got six skill points again there we go and we get one more blue and red heart from the sushi over there the salmon piece <laughs> sushi i say sushi because you know salmon is probably one of the main ingredients in sushi or at least the sushi that i eat maybe we could talk about sushi now <laughs> Speaking of sushi is do you guys eat sushi? You can let me know down in the comment section what your favorite piece of sushi is Mine is the rainbow uh, uh, Californian rolls so that's with the avo and the salmon on the outside as well as having your normal uh, seaweed and then some uh, of the salmon on the inside so I like to have my salmon and avo Californian rolls. They are my favorite. And then some avo maki as well. But otherwise, uh, let me know down in the comment section what your favorite sushi is. If you do like sushi at all. And if you don't like sushi, let me know why down in the comments as well. I'd like to know what it is about sushi you don't like. 
I do know a lot of people just don't like uh, fish or raw fish and they therefore only have the vegetable sushi and it's just not the same thing uh, if you don't have the uh, fish sushi or you know the, the sashimi or the tuna or anything like that it's it's really not the same you I think you need to have that fish in the sushi to get the, the proper sushi taste and feel to it Ow, we just took a, a free hit over there for absolutely no reason just because I'm not concentrating on the game as much as I should be but we are on 99 gold and we've been dropping a lot of chests uh, not the greatest uh, although that's actually probably better than XP right now because we don't really need uh, that much experience on our character but uh, we are going to land up getting quite a lot of it we did just pick up another XP ring attraction ring so we've been really really lucky on Thara over here we are on our 99 gold we've got a lot of XP and the door is about to come down so wham bam thank you Let's go into the final boss fight. This is our Ragnarok. We got 20 skill points, so we are going to... I think we can go and level up Holy Sword right now. It is a lot easier to get to max level than, let's say, our Revna. But we will just spam points into Revna as well, because we've got nothing better to do with our points. And we're still leveling up anyway. Hopefully we can get enough to fully level Revna, that would be pretty funny. And as you can see, we're nearly level 200, which is huge on Ragnarok. I don't think anyone's ever expected to hit uh, such a high level on Ragnarok, but again, we did luck out and get a whack ton of uh, levels for our uh, you know, units. So there we go, we don't have to worry about any more levels because we've got nothing else to put them on. But uh, again, we are level 197. Spam the R, get these bosses dead as quickly as possible. We also do have some form of electric damage to kind of, uh, you know, make sure that they uh, freeze or become paralyzed. So that does help us. Just move a little over there. Make sure we can kill him. I think we did uh, kill the one, so that's fantastic. And then we are going to deal with the other one now. He is poisoned as well. Probably better to kill the first one as well. The one that jumps and throws the axes. He is a lot harder to dodge. So, you know, very, very comfortable first kill over there without any troubles. But now we've got our second phase. Hopefully we can deal a decent chunk of damage. And bam, from the start. Uh... It would have been nice to have kept our ulti on them as much as possible. They are half laugh already or even over half laugh. And we seem to be in a really good spot. Except for, you know, taking all this free damage from everything around us. But uh, let's see. We have five more seconds until we are able to kill him. Hopefully we can deal enough. Please. And we did it. So it took us a little bit of time, but as you can see, Poison Bomb carrying us quite heavily over there, and Endless Bow's DPS also a huge amount. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe, survivors. Until next time, cheers.